Alrighty, guys. So uh, remember the first thing you need to really figure out uh, when you are rendering your uh, your uh, drawing is you need to figure out where the light source is, right? Um, all of your shadows, all of your highlights, all of that stuff is going to be based on uh, the light source. Now, the problem with this image is that the, there is no like immediate light source uh, that's uh, visible, right? There's no picture of a sun, there's no like um, meteor, fireball, whatever, anything that makes any sort of light, right? We just have to uh, assume um, or not assume, but figure out where the light is on our own. Um, and the way you do that is you look at the actual uh, highlights and shadows on the different parts of um, the uh, objects in the reference. Okay, so our best like uh, resource is actually this big mountain thing in the middle, right? You can see that this part on the left is illuminated and this part on the right is in shadow. Right. You also see that this bottom portion of the um, rock here, this platform, is in shadow, whereas this top part is highlighted. Right down here, you see some um, highlights, but over here, you see some shadows. Right. So you can assume that since uh, this part on the left is in shadow, or sorry, in highlight, uh, your light source is somewhere on this side of um, your image, right? You have to imagine that this image is, or uh, you have to imagine this image is in 3D. Um, so uh, it would be on this left side. However, it would also be up, right? It would be in the, uh, the upper part of the sky, right? Um, you can tell that it's in this upper part of the sky because down here it's, uh, it's in shadow um, and over here it's in shadow. Right, so um, highlights, the direction of uh, the highlight is the closest part to the, the light source um, and the direction that's opposite of the light source is going to be what's in shadow.